People who saw it, they called it a miracle. Two adults and a child survived after their plane crashed near Waterloo. Our Brandon Morano caught up with one of the Good Samaritans who helped rescue them. Brandon. Mike and Ann, the plane was heading from Mobile, Alabama to St. Louis downtown airport in Cahokia. Now instead it landed in this brush behind me. Thankfully, there were some quick thinking people nearby to rescue those on board. That I saw a plane that kind of looked like it was low and gliding for a while. That's when off duty Waterloo police officer Tim Dawes thought something wasn't right. Then when I come around the curve down there, I saw that it, it just crashed right there. He was looking at three people trapped in a four seat single engine plane right in his own yard. My wife was in the front yard working, so she was already on the phone with 911. But luckily for the three people in the plane, this first responder was just feet away. And we heard a child uh, crying in, in the back. So luckily that um, we found a fire extinguisher. They were trapped. What was going through your head when you walked up to it? Oh, it was it was pretty much sheer fear because we could uh, see that the jet fuel the was uh, pouring out of it. And then hearing the kid uh, cry was was a lot. Dawes and two other Good Samaritans sprung into action. And so I busted out two of the windows and then we used a knife and we cut the child out of the child restraint seat. All three taken to the hospital alive. Can you believe that they all made it out okay? No, I'm not. I'm so happy that that's the way it did turn out. I mean, like you said, I, I wish them a speedy recovery and I hope they're going to be fine. Thanks to the quick thinking of Dawes and the others, the chances of that are now a lot better. It was a, a great combination of a lot of people at the right place at the right time. Amazing stuff right there from Dawes and the other people who are here to help those three people who are on board of this plane. The FAA is investigating the cause of the crash and the National Transportation Safety Bureau has been notified. And I do want to leave you with some good news tonight. The three people last we heard who were on this plane are expected to be okay. They're at St. Louis area hospitals. Mike and Ann. It is unbelievable. It's miraculous that they're going to be okay. And do you know the people that were there luckily and helped them? Did they get to talk to the survivors at all or will they reunite? Do we know? They did. Uh, Dawes, who I talked to, uh, as you saw right there in the story, says he talked to the people on board. The pilot didn't say much to him. The woman who was on board, he said, was obviously shaken up. Uh, the child was actually the one that the one that's about five years old was the one who talked the most. He actually brought him inside. He lives just steps away from this where this plane is, brought the child inside, gave him a coat uh, because the child said he was cold while uh, they waited for ambulances to show up. All right, Brandon, thank you.